everyone, this is Mary from Invin Machinery. Today I will introduce you a step bin reforming machine. So a step bin is a very important component in our medium duty warehouse system. Uh, and it will, uh, it will work with the bracings, racks uh, and the connectors uh, to be a complete uh, shelf and uh, it's used to put on the shelf boards so it will have uh, a, a, a high level of intensity to support the goods on it and uh, uh, here the material thickness is from 1.5 to 2 millimeters the millimeter uh, the material is A36 to A50 and uh, the yield strength is 40 40, 420 MPA, uh, gauge 14 to gauge 16. And uh, the size here is uh, the, so, on my hand this is one formed step bin. Uh, the step bin, the, this production line can produce multi sizes and uh, mainly to change the height of it. So mainly to, uh, one line here and uh, one line here. So these two lines, we adopt the automatic height change uh, function to produce multi-sizes step beams. And uh, also to test if a uh, uh, step beam pr product is good or not, uh, there is a very good way to test it. Is well, we can put it on a flat board. If it can stand up, it won't fall down, then it is a very good product. Okay, now let's put it on the board. Also, so it's very clearly, uh, it's a very easy way to test it. And uh, uh, another specialty of this line is we adopt the spot welding, uh, laser spot welding. So it's differently with the bite way. Mm, yeah, so uh, mainly we have two ways to do the step bin. One is by the laser machine, another is by biting. So here we adopt the laser machine and it's a spot welding. We adopt two uh, laser notches. And uh, mm, also we have a higher configuration, which is a full laser welding. It can be faster and uh, more beautiful and uh, the intensity will be higher too. Uh, but uh, it's um, like what I said before, every configuration is according to your requirement and uh, your needs. So this production line is uh, customized uh, to our um, customer's needs, which can fulfill his budget and uh, his requirement. Uh, and uh, so this production line speed is around 4 mm per minute. If you adopt the full laser welding machine, the speed can reach to 8 meters per minute. Um, so back to our machine, this line will include the decoiler and the leveler, then the reforming part, laser machine and the, the flying part, then the out tables. Okay, now let's have a look at the details. So now I'm on the reforming part. Before it's the decoiler and the, the manual decoiler or the hydraulic decoiler, you can choose up to your choices. So after the decoiler then comes to our feeding part. Here we have uh, four hand wheels because here we are, we are producing uh, 10 sizes step -ins. So it's very important uh, to have a hand wheel. So each time we change the coding wheel widths, we will, to, we will need to change the, the, the distance of the rollers, of the feeding rollers. So use, the, use this hand wheel, we will know how, how long, how the distance goes. Uh, we only need to remember the number on it. So each time we we'll change the coil, it's very uh, convenient for our little changing. And then this is the leveler. Uh, it has, uh, uh, it's a, it in total have five pinch rollers and the two on the above and the three on the bottom. So the material here is 1.5 to 2 millimeters and the yield strength is like 420 
MPA. So when the material thickness is over 1.5 or the yield strength is over 3 MPA, we will recommend you to use a leveler to eliminate the crossbows on the coil and to remove the stress on the coil too. So when it comes into our literal forming part, it can be much more straight and it will be more favorable for our later forming too. And uh, then comes to our reforming part. Uh, and uh, here, mention it's very worth to mention that uh, the the thickness range uh, can't be too large uh, because some suppliers will write on their quotation that they can produce a very large, big range materials. Uh, and uh, some our some of our customers will think that's better, but uh, it's not quite right. Because if the range is too big, you know, there is only one set of loaders for each machine. We we'll design the rollers according to the thickness materials. So if we change the thickness material to the thinnest material, the the forming angle of the rollers will be very different and uh, actually it's not favorable for our formation. So we don't think too wild uh, thickness range is good for the forming. And uh, uh, 0.5 range of the thickness is uh, very uh, good. And uh, the forming part we adopt uh, the wall panel and the chain drive. The wall panel and the chain drive group is very common in our reforming machine. The wall panel, and you can see there are several rods here. It's also to enhance the high, the whole intensity of the forming part. And uh, it's well received uh, all around the world because it's already very stable and uh, the price is quite right for our customers. And uh, the chain drive is also very common and it's a very traditional uh, power transmission way. And uh, it can work in hard conditions and uh, not very complete, completed in installation requirement, uh, which is very favorable for our later commission and installation. And uh, um, also, uh, it's very uh, good uh, good uh, structure for our uh, step beam reforming machine. And uh, here we are using the spot laser welding, so a wall panel chain drive is enough. If you are using a full laser welding, then we will recommend you to use gearbox and iron cast drive to uh, withstand much more power. And uh, here the wall panel is enough. So here. Uh, this production line can produce multi-sizes step beams and uh, the sizes can up to 10. So uh, if the size number of your sizes is 1 or 2 or 3, then we can use slip change. It will be much cheaper and uh, very convenient too. Also it will have some tolerances too. And uh, here this production line sizes can up to 10. So we use an automatic function to change the height. And uh, the height is 3.5 inches to 6.5 inches. And uh, it's about this two lines. And uh, the, the main process is the, the, the power to transmit to this motor and the motor will transmit the power to our reducers and the reducers will transmit the power to our the, the, the guide rails. So the double the double wall panel structure rack will move will move on the guide rails. So, uh, like uh, to be, uh, the distance will be uh, shorter or longer to change the distance of the bending points on the coil then to change the height of the step beam. So this is the main process for the automatic uh, uh, height change function. And uh, here you can see there are almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are almost eight, four, eight forming stands uh, used to change the height. So after our reforming part that comes to our laser machine, you can see there are two notches here. So uh, we can, the number of the notches is up to you. 
and uh, it accord and it will influence the speed too. So here we adopt the two to increase to head up to so speed up our uh, production speed. And if we use three, the speed can be higher too. And it's a flying laser, so also the same reason to increase the full uh, entire production speed. And also here you can see there is a proximity detector too. Like what I said, when we need to uh, range measuring the lens to um, corresponding to the speed, we will use a detector or um, sensor to let the machine know how long you have gone. So, okay, um, and also you can see um, here, uh, this is for the flying laser to move. And uh, this is a guide rail too. And also we can adopt a, a full, laser full laser machine too, which can be um, much more beautiful to our final products. And uh, um, the speed can be higher too. And uh, the intensity of the product will be higher too. But it adopted, it's up to your choices and it's according to your requirements and your budget. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, gas shield, gas shield laser. It uses the carbon dioxide and the the the, the, the argon, and also we can use the argon. Three three kinds of gases to um, to do the laser, mm. and it will equip uh, that is the the gas vat to supply the gas for the laser. And also, usually we will equip a separate cabinet for it to control the speed and the welding lens. So after our laser welding machine, then comes to our final saw cut. This is a flying saw cut, which is also to speed up the whole production speed. Speed. It will sub. It will have a. Mm, separate servo motor to supply the power of it. And here there is a hand wheel here to clamp the products on the cut base to let it be more tight. Okay, and the, the, the saw cut can make the cutting surface more smooth, no burst, and uh, it will have the emulsifier to uh, prevent the sparks uh, hurting our workers. And uh, uh, the emulsifier can be recycled from to a water vat here. So it will be very clean and uh, save water to our uh, whole production too. It's recycled. It's a very smart configuration. And uh, also the saw cut, compared to a hydraulic cut, it can be uh, uh, much more favorable so because it won't cause any deformation to the step bin because a step bin is a closed tube uh, so we will adopt the saw cut uh, when we cutting a closed tube a saw cut will always be our first choices and it's no wastage cut which is very uh, which is much better than the hydraulic cut and also we have uh, um, motion controllers equipped in our con control cabinet too. It is to uh, let the cutting blade have much longer um, surface run, extend its working surface and also keep the servo motor and the main motor speed to be consistent so the blade won't be a collision and uh, mm, to have a higher accuracy in cutting lens and uh, the production tolerance. So this is our entire production line for our laser welding uh, spot, uh, spot laser welding step beam reforming machine line. Uh, and uh, you can see the configuration is very uh, various. We have photoed uh, many stepping production lines before and you can see every production lines configuration is different so um, Every customers before they set the order they will always Communicate with us very well to let us know their 
uh, requirements and uh, their thoughts in their mind and uh, to have a uh, best uh, um, effect to reach their budget and uh, their needs. And uh, uh, you may be worried about the commission. Uh, we will commission the machine in our factory and uh, when the machine arrives in your country, in your factory, you only need to install it. And uh, this part, we will provide the menu of use and uh, many installation videos. And also we will have an after sale service group, which will have our engineers in it too. We can always contact and communicate every problems that, uh, that's, that's occurred in the uh, commission and the installation stage. And uh, the warranty time for you is uh, 12 years for the motors and uh, two years for the whole life. And also uh, after li whole life, um, after sale service. So if you are interested in our machines, please subscribe our channel and uh, send us your inquiries or you have any thoughts in your mind. We will, we will reply to you as soon as possible and uh, offer you the best solutions. Mm, so that's all. See you next time. Goodbye.